All right, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, we want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, and And that's the true Hebrew names of the Heavenly Father in the name of His only begotten Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit, and the Lashwan Kadash, the Holy Tongue, the Paleo Hebrew. Uh, we want to give a double honors to uh, the elder apostles from Great Millstone who ruled well and taught, me, taught us this truth. And peace and salutations to Akiem that's pushing this word throughout the four corners of Broad with truth and sincerity. And shalom to the Akiem Wa'ath Watch. Peace and blessings to the brothers and sisters that may be tuning in, studying, and learning on the vibration of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Yahweh, again, is who the world ignorantly calls the Most High. God or Heavenly Father and Yahweh means He is, He is to be, He exists. Bahashem means in the name. Yahweh Shai is who the world annually calls Jesus Christ. And Yahweh Shai means He is the Savior, He is the Deliverer. Bahashem in the name. Rakakadash is the Holy Spirit. And uh, we're just two brothers from the GMS Boston camp back with a quick lesson through the Spirit. Uh, I'm the brother Taz of War. And uh, we're just going to flow through the Spirit. We don't really have nothing jotted down. But, hey, man, us uh, knowing the time uh, diligently and, you know, measuring the time that we can see that we're in these latter days. We can see uh, the implementation uh, of, of Esau pushing... Uh, uh, um, uh, uh, mand mandating this deadly water and juice, which is ultimately going to lead to what the prophets been when we've been preaching, starting from our apostles and elders. Uh, you know, the RFID microchip, which is the MOTB, the mark of the beast that John the Revelator spoke about in uh, the uh, Revelation, the 13th chapter. We could see wars and rumors of wars, we see uh, uh, um, uproars and sedition amongst the people, people are uh, protesting and um. And having uh, uh, um, they going against the the the, the government's uh, laws and legislations. You can see them uprising, and these are all signs and wonders that the Lord told us that we have to measure so we know that we're in these latter days. We see earthquakes in diverse places, and they're not little small earthquakes. These are like 7.5 and up, uh, um, hitting the Richter scale. You know, damaging. Uh, a lot of uh, uh, land, whether it's in the eastern regions, southern regions, or western regions, you know, in uh, South America, Australia, so on and so forth. These, you know, earthquakes in diverse places, pestilence, and famines, you know, and this is what the Lord, you know, revealed his secrets amongst the servants, the prophets. We know that we can see these things, you know, we see these things coming on over the horizon, and we're here to give warning, uh, as the Lord uh, commanded us to do, to go speak the, the words of prophecy and give warning to the house of Israel but those that can't see it you're living blind and, and, and you, you ultimately are going to be caught off as a thief in the night when the Lord comes and you ain't going to have no repentance for your sins because you couldn't take heed to the warning that the Lord ultimately has given you man that's all right. uh, so Zephaniah Zephaniah 1 verse 14 uh, Zephaniah 1 verse 14 the great day of the Lord is near it is near and hasty greatly uh -huh. even the voice of the day of the Lord the mighty men shall cry the bitterly. That's right. The great day of the Lord is near. And as was promised, the day of the Lord is consumed with wrath, destruction, anguish. Uh, the Lord said in 2 Ezra, the 15th chapter, that he was going to bring plagues upon the earth, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. You know, and this is because the wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth. And uh, the main uh, uh, country or nation that's been pushing forth wickedness is America. So America is going to ultimately fill all those plagues. Uh, that the Lord's going to bring upon the whole earth But the main target is America, man So this is near The great day of the Lord is near Come on, it says uh, That day is the day, of, the day of wrath A day of trouble and distress A day of wasteness and desolation mm -hmm. A day of darkness and gloominess A day of cloud and darkness A day of the trumpet and alarm Against the fenced cities And against the high towers I will bring distress upon men That they shall walk like blind men because they have sinned against the Lord Yahweh Shemushai, and the blood shall be poured out as dust, and the flesh as dung. That's right. So the day of the Lord is a day of wrath, darkness, and gloominess, and it's going to bring distress upon men, man. They're going to walk like blind men. Those that are walking blind are those that not know what's going on. 
they're not paying attention to the prophecies. They don't fear the Lord, have any wisdom and knowledge or fear of the Most High. You know, they want to continue into their own crafty ways and continue to live wickedness. Hey, Amen. The Lord said, you know, they, their blood's going to be poured out as dust and their flesh out as dung. So this is great death, miseries, uh, 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 anguish, suffering, tribulation. This is what's coming. And, it, you know, it sounds repetitive because ultimately... This, you know, these prophecies are going to come to pass. And, and, you know, what we're seeing, what's going on around the world through these news events, hey, we're just one day step, uh, uh, one day closer uh, uh, to that great day of the Lord, man. It's yeah. near, as the scripture says, man. Uh, verse 18, neither the silver nor the gold shall be able to deliver them in the day of the Lord's wrath. That's right. Your, your fortune, your money, your, 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 your Bitcoin, your account, your assets, that's really not the, the uh, going to deliver you in this time of trouble, man. Ultimately, it's this wisdom and knowledge and having faith and, and, and being spiritually minded. You know, that's the main uh, 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 money that's 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 going to, to definitely uh, protect you in these days, man. Yeah, you know? because uh, the scripture says that riches profit if nothing in the days of wrath that's so, right like you said your money your goal your standard your celebrity status is not going to be able to save you when i have recluse man that's right it says, uh, but the whole land shall be devoured by the fire of jealousy but he shall make even the speedy riddance of all them that were in the land yeah the whole land will be devoured by the fire of the lord's jealousy which is his indignation that um righteous anger ultimately them, them ultimately threw them thermonuclear missiles that's like the icing of the cake of destruction of babylon man babylon is going to implode within itself through uh, uh civil unrest uh death um uh, uh, torture, all type of troubles, you know, but ultimately when World War Three kicks off, this is when the Lord is going to have the OK button to just uh, uh, make his appearance, crack the clouds with his host of armies, and and um, he's going to come with them chariots, and they're going to destroy Babylon, and ultimately them thermonuclear missiles from these other armies. The Lord, uh, as according to Second Ezra, the 13th chapter, Yahweh has his right hand is the one that is bending the bow. So that means the Lord is in control, uh, 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 has his spirit on the uh, on those ICBM missiles. Mm -hmm. And the tension was going on around the world. Everybody is getting prepared. These other armies and nations are getting ready for war. And their main... Um, uh, uh, um, enemy or target Like the brother said Is America Babylon the Great And this just proves That the scriptures Are not lying And the prophecy Is going to be fulfilled That Babylon is going to be Utterly destroyed uh, This is uh, Jeremiah 50 verse 14 uh, Jeremiah 50 verse 14 Put yourself in a ray Against Babylon Around about O ye that bend the bow Shoot at her Spare no arrow For she had sins Against the Lord That's right And when you read the verse up Man it says The Babylon shall be astonished And hissed at all her plagues As I, I quoted Second as the 15th chapter Man the Lord said He's going to bring plagues Upon the earth See so this is what's Happening in Babylon The great man This is this is what America Has to be prepared for And ultimately This is what we're here Warning you Israelites That's dwelling here In America Ultimately to repent And seek the Lord Man before this day Of destruction come man Because uh um, the Lord is putting that spirit of war. It says, put yourselves in array against Babylon round about, which is assemble your weapons, get target, get ready, prepare for war, as according to Joel, the third chapter, man, you know, and shoot at her. Again, that her is Babylon the Great. Babylon is the only nation that's been prophesied to be utterly destroyed off the face of the map and shall not be found no more, you know. Yeah. Matter of fact, I'm going to jump up. It says, uh, uh, Jeremiah 50, verse 12. Your mother shall be so confounded. Mm -hmm. She that bears you shall be ashamed. Behold, the headermost part, the headermost of the nation shall be a wilderness or dry land in a desert. Mm -hmm. And that's a future concerning America. The 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 head the head of most part of the earth talking about America. That's the right. part of most part of the earth because like the ancient world, you know, uh, uh the, the holy land in 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 the, all the land they were known, you know. But America was the head of most part of the earth. That was when the the Tritan tribe uh, got uh, migrated into me. That's right. It says, uh, verse 13, because of the wrath of the Lord Yahweh Shemeshai, it shall not be inhabited, but it shall be wholly desolate. Everyone that go by Babylon shall be astonished in his at all her plagues. Mm. Put yourself in array against Babylon round about, or ye that bid the bow shoot at her, spare no arrow. For she had sense to give the Lord Yahweh by Shemeshai. That's right. The arrows and the thermonuclear missiles. This is a future prophecy that Jeremiah is prophesying about, man. And Malachi, Isaiah, uh, um, 
Ezra, Habakkuk, Habakkuk all these prophets, see, John, the Revelator, seen America being utterly destroyed by these arrows and there's some thermonuclear missiles. And again, we say that confidently because the Lord will do nothing but reveal of his, his secrets amongst his servants to prophets, man. You know, and this is a future prophecy. And this is, again, another warning for those that dwell, you Israelites that dwell here in America, that, hey, it's time to repent. And we know, according to the scriptures of Zechariah, that only um, one third are going to hear this word and come back and repent. But two thirds of our people must cut off and die. And, you know, this um, proclamation is also for these other nations because they got to hear about their downfall, mainly uh, you Edomites, man. You the mice are the ones that's in power. You're going to be the last heathen that's in power before our Lord and Savior comes back and has that transitional power, put Jacob uh, uh, back to where it belongs, man, as it was designed from the Heavenly Father, man. Uh, so Isaiah Tristan, Isaiah Tristan, verse 7, sin. Mm -hmm. Behold, I'll bring, I will stir up the maids against them. We shall not regard silver, and as for gold, they shall not delight in it. The bow also shall dash the yeoman to pieces, and they shall have no pity on the foot of the womb. The eyes shall not spell children. In Babylon, the glory of kingdoms, the beauty of the child, this excellency mm -hmm. shall be as when Yahweh by Shemeshai overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. That's it right. shall never be inhabited. It shall never be inhabited. Neither shall it be dwelt then from generation to generation. That's neither right. shall the shepherd, the Arabian, pitch tent there. Neither shall the shepherd make the folder. This is how well, Salak is, bro. This is how we know this is a future prophecy. Babylon talking about America because ancient Babylon is over there, but in the Middle East, mm. you know, and our Arabians pinch tents there. There's there's still people dwelling there, you know. There's still life and and uh, um, yeah. uh, what do you call it? Commerce. Ancient Babylon is what ancient Babylon is modern day Iraq. Right? Iraq, yeah. So, so they have people business has been conducted. The people still living there. Still living but there. But that's yeah. a future prophecy. Concerning what's gonna take place to America, that's this right. space will never be inhabited anymore, man. That's right. The only things that's gonna inhabit is the wild beasts of the desert, the owls, the creatures. You know, this place is gonna be a monument, a, 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 a monument of uh, of uh, just fire. You know, people are gonna look at this place and be like, this is gonna be a place that's burning forever and ever. You know, it's, I didn't mean a monument, but I mean it's gonna be a um, what do you call that? A, a, a fire pit or whatever and for all the other nations to see what happened when you go against the the, the laws the legis uh registration um the laws commandments yeah. of the lord man. yeah i got you it says uh, the lord gonna make an example out of this place man that's right because uh what you just said because for what they have done to the lord's people in the creation the lord has to show these nations who who is the true power man that's and right america gonna be gonna serve as an as an example man that's right it says uh but while beasts of the desert shall lie there, and the houses shall be full of doubtful creatures, and our shall dance there, and Satan shall dance there, and the wild beasts of the island shall cry in the desolate houses, and dragon in the palace of palaces, and her time is near to come, and her days shall not be prolonged. That's right. No, hey, that's the black word today. The day for for uh, Babylon is through, man. Esau, the so called white man, is running out of time, man. You know, and that's exactly why we see these devils scrambling, uh, trying to uh, 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 fight to escape destiny. That's because right. Because destiny is already being, uh, when you go to destiny, this or destination is already set up, man. This of trying to fight to to for, to upset prophecy, but we know it's all for no avail yeah. because the will of Yahweh Hashem shall will prevail no matter what because um, there is no such thing as free will, man. The Lord Yahweh Hashem is in, is in complete control. The Lord is the one that that's gonna that's the author. That's the that's the sc uh, screenwriter of this great movie. Man. That's right, and he already declared the end from the beginning. So ultimately, everything that Esau tries to do to upset prophecy, the Lord already ordained that that what you guys are gonna be doing, and ultimately you're just gonna only help on the demise of your uh, 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 nation in America, man. Yeah. You know, uh, I got Jeremiah 50 verse 23. Uh, Jeremiah 50 verse 23. I'm gonna start 22. A sound of battle is in the land, and of great destruction. How is the hammer of the whole earth cut asunder and broken? How is Babylon become the desolation among the nations? I have laid a snare for thee, and thou art also taken, O Babylon, and thou was not aware. Thou art found and also caught, because thou hast striven against the Lord. The Lord have opened his armory and have brought forth the weapons of his indignation, for this is the work of the Lord Yahweh of hosts in the land of the Chaldeans. Yeah, the hammer, right? Because uh, America is the muscle might of the elite. That's why they use they use America to control the nations, to oppress the whole world, man. They go out down there to Iraq, Afghanistan, you know, or, or Libya, drop bombs, drop bombs on nations because that's their military might. 
you know, to uh, every everything to a hammer is a nail. That's right. And that's exactly what America was set up to do, set up to break up the nation, to cut, to break forth chaos, destruction, confusion. And they have, and she has done her job, man. And she's no more, she's no longer needed. And how about Shimisha is about to put a stop to this bitch, man? How about Shimisha is about to to put her down for, right. for, her, for her wickedness, man? That's right. And that's what we're here to give you warning, man. It's, it's the time that you Israelites should be is to be uh, rejoicing and and being prepared for the destruction of this place and entering into a new heaven, man, a new earth when dwelleth righteousness. You know, we got to put off this old man and put off this old world because this place is wicked and it's soon to be destroyed, man. And this is what we're here preparing you Israelites to, man, ultimately to get that. Uh, be the first fruit You gotta repent Fear the Lord You know and, and rehearse the righteous acts To the best of your ability But Babylon It's already been X'd out In the Lord's um, agenda. Uh, agenda Or his heart man So it's, it's already through man We're just waiting for it to play out I got Revelations The 18th chapter Verse 20 and 21 uh, Revelation 18 verse 20 Rejoice over her thou heaven And ye holy apostles and prophets For the most high have avenged you on her And a mighty angel took up a stone Like a great millstone and cast it into the sea Saying thus with violence shall that great city Babylon be thrown down and shall be found No more at all Yeah because uh, when this space be uh, be taken down we're gonna be rejoicing Because this space has been a nightmare for so called Black Hispanics and Native Americans Esau has destroyed the the inheritance of Yahweh Shimshai. He has oppressed our people so bad that the Lord has to uh, 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 destroy the land, man. That's the right. land is, is not wicked, but it's the people in charge of the, that are wicked. Because of the of the wicked, because of Esau, the land has to be suffered, man. That's right. That's exactly how it's going to be. And when this when this place gets destroyed, we're gonna be rejoicing. We're gonna be uh, uh, praising Yahweh Shimshai because we're gonna know that hey, that's the Lord Yahweh Shimshai. Who had done this marvelous work, man? That's right. You know, see, it's already set in stone, man. It's already been written. It's already official. The Lord declared the end from the beginning, and again, we're just waiting for it to be played out. So, we pray everything was edifying. Just stay prayed up. Continue to be brotherly, fast, pray, uh, and be watching, be circumspect and diligent, man. Because we almost at the end, man. We almost, we almost, um. We're ready to see our Lord and Savior crack the clouds, man. So, again, we pray everything was edifying. We want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shah, Bashim, Rakakadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders, a great millstone who rule well and taught us his truth. And peace and salutations to the Bayav Dawada. That's the house of David, the elect. Until next time, we want to say, I don't want Ratazah, which means Lord willing. Shalom. Shalom.